What's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to T3G. Today, we're gonna to be talking about DaVinci Resolve. Now, I'm not switching over, maybe, I don't know yet really, but we're gonna take a look to see what it offers, what features it has, what it's missing, and if it can really replace Premiere. Uh, I'm about to edit last week's vlog and uh, we'll see how it works. I'm not gonna screen record because in general, I edit on two screens and DaVinci Resolve actually has a dual display mode. So I was real excited to see that. And uh, yeah, let's check that out. All right, so that's that for the render, uh, the edit, and the, all that stuff. Uh, here's the thing. The experience is actually really great as far as the editor. Um, let's see, we'll switch back to the editor. I will have to, it's gonna take a moment. Uh, I'm gonna go with off. Uh, do I just uncheck that? Yes, okay. So this is a completely different layout. On the dual screen, it moves the project, it moves the master audio, everything like that. A bunch of other menus come up on the right side. It's actually really, really, really nice. I don't really like this single single screen view. I would, I would prefer not to use this. But in general, the editing experience is pretty much the same as Premiere. Uh, you do have these other things, like you have color correction, and you have fusion, which is kind of the, um, what am I looking for? The After Effects section. Uh, but I stuck to this, and of course, once I was done, I wanted to deliver uh, pretty much the same output settings. As far as render time, The this is about a 20, well, 28, 29 minute video. It rendered in roughly 45 minutes. Uh, the only kind of weird thing that I don't particularly like is that it shows the actual preview while it's rendering. Not a big fan of that. I haven't found a way to turn that off. I'm sure there is one. I just haven't found it yet. Going from Premiere to this, super easy. It even asks you what kind of what kind of editor you're familiar with, and it gives you that similar style editing layout. And I, I just really, really enjoyed it. You, you've got the kind of magnetic clip, so it all kind of snaps together. Um, that was huge to have out the gate, and I have to look for that. Uh, the snapping. Um, I just really have no qualms with it overall for the most part. It's a little annoying that the by default the delete key uh, is a ripple delete, which means that it deletes and then moves everything over. Didn't like that. It took me a little bit to realize what, what was going on with that. So I had to backspace delete things without having to affect the timeline uh, because the ripple delete, for instance, let's see, we'll go, we'll go into something that's, that has right here. So we'll go into, so for instance, if I ripple delete this, it moves everything over and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, I would like to keep the rest of my timeline uh, the same way if I'm just deleting one item. Uh, certain things like the glitch effect that I normally do on the video that you saw at the beginning of this video, I had to kind of recreate because for instance, in this, um, we'll just we'll mute this track. I just want to show you guys the, the glitch. Uh, the glitch you saw at the beginning of this video is different than your, what you're about to see here, right? So, so I had to create that that kind of weirdness to make it similar because I, I actually couldn't uh, because I did a little bit of research and found out that there's plugins involved to actually get like the glitch effect that I use. Uh, you, it's not something that's built in. So I, I think you might be able to stack a few things to make it the same way, but I realized very quickly that to put any more than one pre-built effect on to a clip, you do have to go with the premium version. So that's kind of the drawback of having the free version. Overall, I don't think I really suffered as far as my, my editing time. I think the the time it took me to edit this video is the same time it would have taken me to edit it in uh, Premiere. The only weirdness that was kind of like really strange that didn't make sense was that I had a clip uh, that I had this clip right here, the 
the Let's Talk About It clip. If you watch the, the vlog channel, that's just like a segment that I do on the blog. Um, and the original clip didn't have audio. I put the whole video in, didn't have audio, so I actually had to switch computers, go into Premiere, and export just the short clip that I needed, uh, which I guess is kind of better for, for me in the long run anyway, just because so, I'll have that clip ready. But it, it's, it just didn't have audio. It, it never picked it up. I, I, don't know, I don't know why, really. There was no error or anything like that. So that was kind of the only weird thing. Um, and then the lack of having Adobe Audition um, as a tool uh, meant that this log has no underlying audio track because I am really, really married to that remix feature in Premiere where you can remix a clip and have it be as long as you need it to be uh, within a range of, of error. Uh, and that's just something that I can't do without it. I wasn't about to try to splice together the audio and multiple clips and stuff like that. I, I'm just pr not particularly interested in that anymore since I've got a tool that'll let me do it without doing that. So yeah, overall, I think I do like the program itself. The free version is still very featured enough for, for pretty much anybody at the basic level. You know, if you're vlogging, if you're uh, if you're doing YouTube, this is this is gonna do the trick for you. I'm sure there's more once you get into the the, the nuance and the minutia of it. The plugins, they look like there's a bunch of them that are free plugins. Um, so if you do want to get into different effects and stuff like that, looks like you can without really paying anything. So uh, yeah, I think this is definitely a great great solution. I think I'm gonna leave it on this computer if I do need to knock out a quick edit or something. Uh, I might even might even actually use it for editing vlogs going forward. Um, although I do like that audio feature, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, but that's going to be it for this one. Thank you for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. If you have any questions about DaVinci Resolve, if you have any ideas about what other apps I should try out, make sure you drop that down in the comments. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.